Hey, hey, let's fight now! Quiet your mum down as well. Hey, hey, don't 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 go go <laughs> All right, what is going on guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. Before I start the video, can we just like admire this setup situation? We've got a hard body sign in the back. We've got a sure mic. We've got everything set up. We've got camera one. We've got camera two. I wanted to have some fun with the video. I just got back from the gym and I wanted to review the Eddie Hall versus Harfour Bjornsson fight, which I think is absolutely iconic to see like two strong men completely transform everything they know in terms of their training regime, their dieting regime, everything these two men did was to win the world's strongest man. And this is where all of this sprouted from, which I find really interesting because like Eddie and Thor had an amazing relationship while competing against each other until one day when it all went wrong, essentially in 2017 at the world's strongest man, Eddie Hall took the first place. He won the world's strongest man. Thor's reaction to Eddie's win is pretty much where this all started. They had beef for a long time. They critiqued each other's records because essentially Eddie Hall beat the world record deadlift a while ago, which was 500 kilograms. and Thor spinning off the beef essentially took it upon himself to basically deadlift unofficially 501 kilos. <laughs> When I say unofficially, I think it did make it in the Guinness World Book of Records. Like it was the Guinness World Record in terms of the heaviest deadlift ever done. But I just know there was major beef about Eddie Hall calling out Thor saying it wasn't an official lift and it couldn't be registered as a world record. So they've been back on Thor for a long time and there's been a lot of beef. And the way, the way they essentially wanted to settle what happened in 2017 and the deadlift beef and whatever else was said in between was in the ring. Which I find really interesting because my background actually, how I got into fitness was in the ring two, three days a week in a gypsy boxing club in Droitwich, Droitwich Boxing Club. I always found myself enjoying the weight training at the back of the club a lot more than the actual fighting itself. I've done a bunch of research reviewing the previous videos, the previous beef, learning as much as I could about this because I didn't just want to like do a reaction video to a fight that I had no business reacting to without paying respects to this event and these two fighters. I'm going to run through a little bit of that before we get into the fight because obviously I want to give a little bit of background just in case you have no idea what happened this weekend. It was honestly incredible. Everyone's reacted about it. There was people that I know actually in Dubai watching the fight in person. It was really, really cool to see. Actually, my coach, uh, Callum, obviously you guys know Callum, his girlfriend is Eddie Hall's main videographer. Like she records all his vlogs, follows him around the world. So like she is very connected. So obviously Callum's very connected and we hear all about it. Like me and Jordy hear about Hannah traveling around the world with Eddie Hall all the time. So I think that's the coolest thing ever. The fact that there was an injury involved, the fight was postponed. Eddie Hall tore his bicep. He was out of training for a little while, but now it is back. The fight has happened. I personally thought from the very beginning, based on height, reach overall look of athleticism because Thor looked more physically fit. I thought that Thor was going to win based on just those three things because Eddie Hall, although made a massive transformation, his transformation was insane as was Thor's. He was holding a lot more body fat. Before we get into the backstory and review the footage, I just quickly want to say that the next Alphalete drop, I'm going to be doing a haul in a future video basically showing the whole drop. But right now I'm wearing the Infinity Velocity T and these shorts right here, these are the men's element shorts, are probably the comfiest shorts Alphalete have ever released. And this t-shirt is incredibly V tapering and it's coming in about five days when this video does go live. Of course, you can use code hardbody at checkout. I'm doing a massive giveaway. I essentially have a bunch of this drop and previous drops. I've got over a thousand dollars of Alphalete clothing in a box upstairs. All you have to do is use code hardbody to be in for a chance to win. I'll be picking a winner two days after the launch goes live, as well as doing three $100 Alphalete gift cards to be spent on this drop, what's remaining of it, or, or the next drop. And all you have to do to enter is use code hardbody at checkout out, screenshot your order, put it on your Instagram story, tag me so I can see it, I'm picking a winner on the 28th, two days after the launch goes live. Leading up to the fight, there was a bunch of videos released, there was behind the scenes stuff, press conferences, and basically everyone is trying to create a reaction so the fight essentially gets more views, and I thought this is pretty interesting the way they did it, because you can tell that they've never done this before. Eddie was pushing over tables. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thor was like, it looked like really bad acting at some point. Sorry to tell it to you, saying, hey, let's fight now. Get your fucking song now, you I fucking asshole. But the thing I really wanted to react to and show you was the physique updates, essentially, when they did their weigh-in, because obviously Thor, an absolute mountain. There's actually some footage of him on a plane, and you can literally see he takes up two seats on a regular plane. His head is almost touching the ceiling of the plane. Like, this guy, absolutely massive. So to probably see a guy this large, this athletic, his abs are showing, and then obviously, as I mentioned 
previously, Eddie Hall has made an incredible physical transformation. They're both in absolutely great shape. Obviously not bodybuilding competition sort of condition, but obviously the main goal is just to lose enough weight to become agile, physically fit enough and fast enough in the ring. I actually wonder if I was to get ready for a fight myself because obviously I used to box what my body weight would be because right now I'm like 250 pounds and my last stage weight was 197 pounds. But if I was to do a boxing fight prep, what kind of body weight I would be? Because I honestly right now have no idea. So when I was watching the press conference, there was two things that Eddie Hall did, which I thought was like extremely childish and I didn't think needed to happen. He mentioned half Thor's mom. Quiet your mom down as well. Don't ever fucking talk about my mom, you fucking asshole. I'm not your oh, off. <laughs> And at the end of Eddie's video, he basically said, I never mentioned his mom. I just told her to shut up. And I was like, at the same time, that is still mentioning someone's mom. Tensions are high. Like you should just never talk about the other person's family. Like, and then it obviously followed off with Eddie kicking over a table. And I, I thought that was very childish because Eddie has been like very respectful. Another video that I saw, Eddie was like dunking this like sweet into this powder and was licking it in front of Thor's face, which I also thought was really childish. So I don't know what was going through his head. I mean, these guys are seemingly absolute beasts or maybe it's just just Eddie's like I don't give a shit mentality and he's just like acting out having fun or just like maybe he's just enjoying the event so much that he is just having a laugh and he just like doesn't really care about the fight one more thing before we get into the fight which I wanted to mention is how much of a shame this all is to be honest because it might not be a conclusion that anyone else really thought of watching all of the strongman competitions seeing the absolute respect that Thor had for Eddie like he literally said the words he is fantastic at one of these shows I don't know what event it was but this is what happened for, for being a priest and pushing me through the limits. He is fantastic. To see this passion, to see this love be absolutely diminished by, in my opinion, childish and unsportsmanlike behavior. And then there was the deadlift bouts and all this childish back and forth. Like these guys used to absolutely love each other, but they fell out enough to have to settle things in a ring. And I don't know. It's a shame I didn't win today. Well done to four. Fantastic athlete, you know. If the hatred is that deep or they both just like saw an opportunity and wanted to get loads of views and make loads of money, I don't think they both need the money. I both think they're very well off. I think their families are set. I think they're set. Honestly, it's a shame that this happened. We're here now, the fight's done, and we're gonna react to it. Here we have two men side by side staring at each other in the ring. And oh, no, I'm not gonna do that really. Eddie Hall is dancing again, acting like I as I referenced before, a little bit childish, but and then half four is like an absolute mammoth just <laughs> in the corner. Like it, Eddie is not waiting around. He's literally throwing pretty much seemingly like everything he has, like right off the bat. From experience, like and just like seeing how much like energy is being exerted straight away, like he is gonna be gassed so so fast by like throwing those big punches. Another thing I'm noticing right off the bat is Thor's hand placement. It's so much better than Eddie. Like Eddie is pretty much half his face is open. The technique for Eddie just isn't there as much as it is for Thor, even though Eddie is just like getting a few massive right hooks in there, which I feel like is just breaking past Thor's guard. Eddie is just wide open the whole time. Coming to the end of round one, like Eddie looks a little bit gassed as well and still throwing massive right hands. And Thor is just like, he's building up points. He's jabbing. Like it's not all about knocking out your competitor. Like honestly, more of the fight is building up points and landing quick jab. Although they're not as impactful to Eddie in terms of like hurting him over time over six rounds like that it's gonna start to hurt 20 seconds left of the round and thought is like opening up now you can tell he's been letting eddie get tired and now he's just like he's just going for it he knows there's only 20 seconds left and he's like actually giving it some like for the first time because i feel like for the whole round one he hasn't really cared he's just been like letting eddie do his thing and round two starts eddie <laughs> whoa eddie is straight in there again massive right hook actually throws thor so i feel like this is like eddie's signature punch like this is if he lands a few of these punches he i, I feel like he's thinking that Thor is just going to be out halfway through round two and Thor's stance is exactly how it was at the beginning of the fight he's keeping strong his elbows are in tight his guard is up his, his chin is basically blocked the entire time which makes it harder for Eddie because Eddie is already a shorter guy so Thor just blocking his chin is amazing As he doesn't really have the one thing in my opinion that Thor would have to pay more attention to is guarding his midsection like his rib cage his abdominal wall all that sort of thing which Eddie isn't aiming for at all which to me doesn't make any sense because good right hook to the rib can win someone so so easily but ev throughout the whole fight you, I don't know if you watched it but um, throughout the whole fight as you can see Eddie is only only going for the face there's no body shots there's no care for anything other than Thor's face which in boxing the whole body from the waist up is a target you should try and hit <laughs> literally everything that you can which is another thing that is severely letting Eddie down
Oh my god. 40 seconds left of round two, and Thor was just smashed to the ground. Like I was saying, Eddie is hoping that one of these right hooks makes contact with Thor's face, and that's, that's exactly what happened. I guarantee at this point, like, Eddie is thinking, like, my plan is working. If I land a few more of these, like, he's going to be gone. At the end of round two, like, Eddie's looking gassed. Like, his, his stance is, his back is wobbling, his shoulders down. He has no guard whatsoever at this point, so that just gives more opening for half Thor to bring up more points and just land more jabs. Round three has been pretty tame, so we're coming to the end of round three now. 15 seconds left and they <laughs> I feel like they just got energy literally out of nowhere oh my Eddie Hall's down literally six seconds left around three and you can just tell like Eddie's getting so tired now his back is drenched in sweat and honestly like in around three these guys they are so big they are so monstrous I did hear something like whether it was before or after the fight that Eddie thinks he could take Thor for like 20 rounds bro this is round three and Eddie is gassed I don't think Eddie had 20 rounds as him I don't think any of these guys would have that much like even professional boxers gas out at round 12 but to be honest, I'm still massively impressed by what they're doing because, I mean, I, I think I personally, being a lot smaller, a lot less trained, of course, two rounds at the moment, um, I, think I'd, I think I'd be done. So round four and Thor is landing so many of these jabs and I feel like he's just like, he's awakening as the fight goes on. Eddie is like, he, he's like wobbling all over the place now. Granted though, he's still fast enough to like dodge some of Thor's punches. Round five now. And I feel like Eddie's just like adopted this like hunchback of Notre Dame sort of like stance the way he's just like already short, but he's crouching down so much. And I don't think he's trying to like avoid Thor's reach, which is a very smart thing to do. Eddie keeping a bit further back, like in his mind would be the smartest thing to do. Actual smart thing to do when someone has a, a tight reach, which Mike Tyson used to do a lot of. I mean, obviously, Mike Tyson had a lot of skill, but it was like being underneath these people, being as close as possible, building up the body shots, hitting the ribs, hitting the abs, and just like trying to essentially win your component. I mean, these guys, again, are amateurs, and, and I feel like trying to find your way underneath someone like Thor would be pretty scary 220 minutes left round five and thor is like he's he's wiping his eyes i feel like the blood is getting in his eyes at this point i feel like at this point all these guys are trying to do is desperately like knock each other out they're in round five like they're gonna be so tired like the fact that eddie's like kept things up like he's been rocking back and forth and seemingly was was tied in round two but he's pretty much acting the same in round five coming to the end of round five and nothing madly monumental has happened both men have landed a few good punches now we're moving on to round six i feel like at least now like eddie is like building up the jabs a little bit he, he's using his left arm a lot more which is like good to see I feel like his men in his corner would have been like reminding Eddie to keep his arm up because now coming towards the end of the fight he's I can tell like in this final round he's so much more on the offensive just by keeping his guard up a lot more frequently oh and Eddie's down again that was a, that was an absolutely massive punch coming towards the end of the final round now got 18 seconds left Thor just building up more jabs one massive right hook from Eddie just to finish off I feel like they're just gonna these guys are gonna be good. there was 10 seconds left but it, the ref called it they ended it right then and there that was good to see some good sportsmanship by Eddie touch gloves at the very end absolutely amazing effort from both guys i think eddie hall lacked so much boxing skill and definitely needed some more time and i say that because comparatively next to half thor his technique and that like stood strong throughout the entire fight he always kept his guard up he was always building up jabs and stuff and always micro analyzing and just like picking up on the patterns and the rhythms of what eddie was doing and he actually mentioned this in a recap just like as he got out of the ring he said he was like watching everything eddie was doing picking it apart as soon as he knew his game plan he knew how to take him down and that's exactly what he did a massive congratulations to both the guys they absolutely smashed it they both <laughs> put in 100 and they probably made a shit ton of money at the same time which is fantastic if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor drop a like subscribe if you are new turn on post notifications as it really really helps the channel grow and i will see you in the next video peace